As we all know that we are approaching the World Environment Day. The 5th of June this year, India is the global host. The entire world looks upon India to host this forthcoming World Environment Day. And as you all know, that this is our ninth year of the World Environment Day. We've been successfully doing the World Environment Day on Carter Road every year on the 5th of June. And why do we celebrate the World Environment Day just for one single day? I may bet to differ because as normal citizens, we should celebrate World Environment Day every day. Every day there is a certain level of attention that should be provided in regard to the environment we live in. As we all know, this year's theme for the World Environment Day is Beat Plastic Pollution. And I'm sure we're all aware that plastic is non-biodegradable. It may not harm instantly, but it definitely will poison you slowly and instinctly. Plastic pollution can affect our marine animals, our waterways, our land. And hence, plastic pollution, as we are all aware, the world has taken a conscious decision to ban this. And I'm happy that Maharashtra was the first state to take this initiative. And I think the people of Mumbai are very conscious. They have instinct of activism in them, and which is why we all in Bandra, in the suburbs, have aligned together, be the residents' associations. And I think our eco champs have been doing a fantastic job. The youths, the teens have played a major role in the past six months in counseling a large group of people against the menace of plastic. As I mentioned, the World Environment Day should not just be celebrated one day in a year. Our activities are ongoing activities throughout the year, wherein last year, as you are all aware, we were successful in having 5,000 tree plantations around the suburb that were duly mapped with the MCGM and, and with the various local agencies. And this year with Plastic Ban, our EcoChamps have been working closely with the students, the youngsters, the teens of the Ajinkya Devi Patel School. And not only in the field of environment, there are various sections in the field of environment that has been looked at. There is segregation of garbage, the wet waste and the dry waste, which is being counseled by the youth and the youngsters. There is also the significance of solar paneling that we are trying to propagate. And now with the monsoons, we have had a system, a select students who are knowledgeable in the field of teaching the various societies the significance of rain water harvesting. Our endeavors past 11 months has been on various fronts. We had successful organizations of the Van Mahotsav with all the schools. We've been strongly trying to promote composting into various schools. The garbage that is created from the school, the wet and dry is composted and a manure is created which the school itself uses it for its own gardening purposes. The suburbs has launched the first ever biogas plant. I'm thankful to the Pali Hill Resident Association that it has taken the initiative. We have been working relentlessly with all the local leaders to ensure that the execution of the same happens. And this biogas plant transforms the wet uh, waste into biogas which is transformed to electricity. So it's your own garbage which provides you electricity. It's your own garbage which enlightens your own vicinity. That is a concept and theme which the Bamla Foundation looks forward in the forthcoming year with many societies together, with many local residents associations together, with various social groups together to come together to ensure that such technology is installed so we can save a lot of money on the electricity via using your own garbage, via composting your own garbage. Let's discard plastic and let's embrace new life and let's embrace a healthier life. If you can't reuse, refuse. So friends, we'll all meet together on the 5th of June at Carter Road. You're all aware, 5 p.m. onwards, we meet at the amphitheater. And this year, let's all together beat plastic pollution.